Do you think do you think it holds the weight and the power that it used to anymore? Like, do you think? Oh, God, can, no. Yeah, no. right. Yeah, I don't know what does uh, anymore. The world, though, again, generational. You only had three networks when you were on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Mm. I mean, that's Johnny Carson. That was a whole different kettle of fish. You killed on the Tonight Show. You had a career the next day. Right nowadays, I, I don't remember. By the way, they don't use many comics. Right now, nowadays they don't yeah. use many. I mean, I must have done. I don't know how many tonight's. I did a few, but I did a lot of Merv Griffins. And yeah, Merv loved comics, and Merv it, it goes underappreciated because Johnny would have comics on that were much safer mm. until they were stars. Then he'd take them on. Steve right. Martin would come on. He didn't like him at first. I mean, really? I, he had no part of Kinsey. Pryor had no part of Pryor until they became stars. And hey, hey, hey the funniest man in the world. Right. Whereas Merv, <laughs> whereas Merv would put on young comics and stick with it. Right. I mean, when is comedy going to get him in? Do we ever get into the spot, <laughs> into the limelight? Are people ever going to be fighting over our tickets? Well, I mean, there was a time. I mean, Robin and, and, and Steve Martin and. Uh, Dice, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Dice. Uh, uh, who was that guy? Was so, so Dane Cook at one time. Oh, right, right. Yeah, Dane yeah. was fucking. There was, there's people out there who could say. I guess Kevin Hart, you know, or just, uh, George Lopez anymore. <laughs> Yeah, there are, there are people out there who really sell tickets. That's true. Was there anybody that you emulated when you first started? Somebody that you admired? Oh, oh sure. Uh, when I first, when you first started, you're a kid, you take it from everybody. Yeah. Uh, Rodney, Woody okay. Allen, big time. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, um, well, it was Klein and Carlin. I mean, those two. I mean, I got to work with George for a month every day. Uh, oh, no way. Oh, that was one of the great things. Is that. There was a special on HBO they were going to do called 20 Years of Comedy or 30 Years of Comedy on HBO. Right. It was, it was basically a clip show. Mm -hmm. uh, they were celebrating it, but they had to have wraparounds. So George was going to host it, and they hired me. I was between gigs right there. And uh, they hired me to work with George. Wow. And so I would go to his office every day for a month. And for like four hours a day, five, and we would just sit there and... I would guess we worked about on comedy maybe maybe an hour. The rest of the time we just talked about life and everything. And nice. It was, it was really a pleasure. I mean, that's really Carlin was very very special. And uh, you know, he never voted ever. You know, right. Like, yeah. Never. He'd like he'd like to watch it all walk, go by. And I understood <laughs> that. I understand it. You know, I was telling my I was telling my friend who works you know he works in politics. I go, like, oh, here's the problem with the country. You got two parties. One party is incompetent and the other party is evil. <laughs>